A Realme 3 was recently launched in India and it offers real value for money it takes away. Today in this video we will be talking about more than 40 plus amazing features of this smartphone. Video might be a bit too long but I would suggest you to watch it till the end to know the complete details of your smartphone. So hey guys this is Rajat Goyal you are watching Tech RJ the best place to know the best features of your smartphone and let's get started. Before I start this video I request you to remember to comment down the feature which you find the best out of these 40 features. So the first and the important thing if you are using a Geo SIM in this smartphone you can directly make a video call from the dialer and as you can see here as soon as you type any number you get to see an option to make a video call and the second important thing this phone also supports the automatic call recording without using any third party application you just need to go to settings in the dialer app and here you find call recording feature you can turn it on and you can also record just selected or unknown calls from here color wise 6 also brings app drawer in your smartphone which is enabled by default as you can see here to disable this you need to long tap on the home screen set settings go to home screen mode and select standard here you need to confirm it by pressing switch button which will bring all your applications to the home screen disabling the drawer here in the drawer if you have noticed guys you see some kind of suggestions based upon your usage pattern to disable this if you don't like this again you need to go to home screen settings and disable this option here which is show app predictions one more interesting thing here is a kind of global search if you swipe down from the home screen by using this search bar you can search your messages contacts app settings or also perform an online search. Whole UI is also changed in this new color OS 6 and as you can see here is the all new notifications panel which come with larger shortcuts and the all new brightness slider and a very unique look. One more thing which has changed in this new color OS 6 is the navigation system which is now similar to that of the Android 9 Pie. Now you don't see any recents button and you can simply swipe up from the bottom to go to the recents menu. In addition to this there are a lot more navigation options to choose from. If you click this icon in the notifications panel you get to see an as a stiff bowl here which can also be used for navigation. I will show you how to do that. Double tap to go to the recents, single tap to go back and to go to the home you need to long press this bowl. Yet another navigation option can be found in settings, convenience aid, navigation keys which is swipe up gestures. I feel the best one is the default virtual buttons which includes a swipe up gesture for recents menu and looks cool to me. You also get to see a smart sidebar in Realme 3 and you can use a lot of shortcuts from here. For example if you want to capture a screenshot or you want to open any app and also you get floating window support here for some of the apps like messages. Left swiping on the home screen takes you to a smart assistant where again you will find many screenshots and also some new things like this step tracker and calendar. You can definitely use this and also customize this in a lot of ways if you like it. But in case you feel irritated by this and you don't want this anymore, you can disable this by going into settings, smart service and disable smart assistant toggle here. Now we quickly move into the settings as you will find the best features of the smartphone here. If you go into the Wi-Fi here, you get an option named Wi-Fi Assistant. Enabling this will allow the phone to always scan for available Wi-Fi networks and help you by connecting to the best network every time. If you also want your phone to intelligently switch between the data and Wi-Fi, you can also enable this second option. You also get many interesting options related to hotspot here like if you have enabled hotspot you can check how many devices are connected to your phone, you can block particular devices and can also limit the maximum number of devices that can connect to your smartphone. If you want to cast your phone's display on some other smart device, you can use this option named multi-screen interaction. You just need to enable this option to see a list of available devices and connect to one. You might have noticed that by default there is no real-time connection speed or battery percentage in this status bar. You don't need any kind of magic to enable them. Just go to notifications and status bar and enable these toggles here which are battery percentage and show real time network speed. If you want to use ambient display feature in your smartphone, that is if you want to wake up your smartphone every time you receive any notification, then you need to turn this toggle on which is turn on screen for notifications and you can find this in notifications and status bar settings. If you go into display and brightness settings, here you can change the screen color of your smartphone which is not very common. You can choose warm or cool colors as you may like it. But I feel the better option here is the night shield where you can schedule the display to be warmer at specific times every day whenever you use your phone extensively. This way you can help save your eyes from the bluish tint which might be dangerous if you are exposed to it for long hours. As you know this phone comes with a HD display so this phone seems to have everything larger than a full HD resolution smartphone. To compensate for this you can decrease the font size here which definitely can't transform the display to full HD but at least it looks better. You can also enable or disable notch for individual apps in this smartphone. For example if you want to play PUBG in full screen mode showing the notch you just need to enable this toggle and similarly you can do this for any app. 
गैस प्लीज रिमेम्बर टू गिव यम्स अप इफ यू आर लाइकिंग दिस वीडियो एंड डू सब्सक्राइब फॉर मेनी मोर अपकमिंग वीडियोज एस दी होल यू हैज चेंज विद दी न्यू कलर सिक्स दी वॉल्यूम साइडर हैज ऑल्सो चेंज एंड नाउ दी फोर्थ वॉल्यूम इज सेट टू दी मीडिया वॉल्यूम इन स्टेड ऑफ नोटिफिकेशन एंड टू चेंज दी नोटिफिकेशन वॉल्यूम नाउ यू नीड टू प्रेस दिस थ्री रोड्स एंड देन यू कैन चेंज इट टू चेंज दिस होल सुनैरियो यू नीड टू गो टू साउंड एंड वाइब्रेशन सेटिंग्स एंड हेयर अंडर दी फोर्थ वॉल्यूम बटन एडजस्टमेंट सेक्ट दी रिंग टोन वॉल्यूम If you are addicted to listening music through any wired earphones or headphones then you can use this real sound technology feature to enhance the sound experience but remember this works only with wired headphones and not for a loudspeaker if you go into fingerprint face and passcode settings here under privacy passcode you get app lock and private space internal in the smartphone just enable this privacy passcode by setting your password and again if you need to lock apps or keep some files hidden you don't need any third party application If you are already using face unlock in this smartphone then you might have noticed that it unlocks even with closed eyes but you can increase the security and change this option here in fingerprint face and passcode settings here go to face enter your password and enable this toggle which is closed eyes will fail face recognition if you love using different gestures to control your smartphone then we definitely have a lot of similarities because i just love using gestures on my smartphone go to convenience side select gestures and motions and here you will find every type of gesture and motion control for your smart phone you have screen of gestures which include double tap to wake up and drawing some letters on lock screen for some quick actions and also music control from the lock screen using different type of gestures you have motion gesture support here for calls like automatically answering the call if you take your phone near your ears or you want to silent your smartphone just by flipping it during a phone call you can also enable erase to turn on screen here which means if your phone is lying somewhere and as soon as you pick it up it automatically wakes up you might have noticed that there is no memory status in the recent menu now to enable this go into settings additional settings and enable this toggle which is display ram or memory status one more important thing to notice is that this phone supports otg but you need to enable this whenever you want to use it to enable this you need to go to additional settings in the settings menu and turn on otg connection here it automatically turns off if you are not using it for more than 10 minutes If you go into accessibility under additional settings here you can find the power button and scroll option which can be used to end any ongoing call without pressing that red call button One of the best features of this smartphone could have been the presence of clone apps feature internally in this smartphone which is same as dual apps but this feature is very much limited as this can only clone some social media applications such as Facebook WhatsApp or Messenger as you know this phone has a great processor to boost its performance you also get an gaming space feature here where firstly you manually need to add games into it and then it can be turned on during the games to enhance the performance of the smartphone and also it enables the no disturbance mode which helps by hiding notifications and restricting wi- Wi-Fi or data for background purposes. I will also share the methods which can be used to open split screen or multi window in this smartphone. If you go to recents, then you can press these three dots and click on split screen, which is the first method to use it. Second method is the three finger swipe up gesture, which you need to perform after opening the app which you want to see in split screen mode. So now we quickly move to the camera section to know the amazing camera features of this smartphone. The very first important thing in the camera app is the presence of nightscape mode, which is very rare for the price recommend which it comes for. If If it is not available in your smartphone then you first need to update your smartphone to the latest version that is available also if you want to record videos in your smartphone then you get both time lapse and slow motion features which again is very impressive considering the price segment and i personally have tested the slow motion feature in the smartphone if you are in good lighting conditions the phone can record pretty smooth slow motion videos even though the display resolution of the smartphone is hd you can shoot full hd videos from both front and rear facing cameras clearly here you can see the 1080 pixels option and if you shift to the front camera here again you can see 1080 pixels spot you can also use fingerprint shutter in this smartphone that is you can use your fingerprint sensor to click photos and to enable this you just need to go to the camera settings and here turn on the fingerprint shooting also you get a screen recorder app internally in this smartphone so if you wish to record your phone screen you again don't need any third party application here in the notifications panel you get to see the screen recording option if you can't see this option here then click this icon and you will be able to find it below somewhere you can also access its settings by long pressing on it and you need to remember that you will only be able to record screen hd as this phone has a hd display the phone also has a 3d touch option which can help you use some functions of the app without actually opening it like you can directly search in the settings by long pressing on the icon or you can long tap on the calendar to see some of its options directly from the home screen also this phone has compass and fm radio support which can be very useful in some cases compass works very accurately and you need earphones to use the fm radio 
This phone also supports long screenshot. I will show you how to do that. Let's assume you want to capture a long screenshot of your settings. First, you need to take a simple screenshot, then press on long screenshot here, then swipe this up to which you want to capture and then press done here. And here you can see the magic whole long screen captured in a single screenshot. Last thing I would like to mention here is the amazing speed of both fingerprint sensor as well as face unlock in this smartphone. As soon as you press the power key, the phone directly unlocks and you don't even see the lock screen. That's how fast it is. Similarly, you can see fingerprint sensor is really fast. So these were the best features of the smartphone friends. Please give a huge thumbs up if you like this video and comment down the feature which you find the best out of these 40 features. Do subscribe and press the bell icon for many more interesting upcoming videos. And yeah, do check out our Hindi channel for more fresh content.